So you start with um, your Cricut Design Space. Um, I paid for this. It's a PNG um, on Etsy. I went through and just like Googled a bunch of schools on fire because that's what um, my brother wanted. And I found that one. Um, he wants one on each side. And I know that I had um, 12 inches by 9 inches of usable space. So I just made sure, um, like, you can manipulate this, move it up. You can type in what you want. So I just put an 11.5 because you can't do more than that. The, the Cricut mats are only 12 inches. Um, so if you do more than 11.5, it won't let you fit the image on there, which um, made the, the height 8 inches. And that kept everything in proportion. You can unlock this. And you can make this whatever size you want. It will distort your image, though. So, it did make it different. So, you can undo that. And it's back to the 11.5 by the 8.81. So, we need one on one side and one on the other. So, I'm going to duplicate. So, when I've got another image, it's okay that it's sitting on top. Um, it'll layer it on your Cricut mat to fit. Um, so I'm going to flip this one horizontally. So now I've got that one going this way. And I've got this one. Um, I'm grabbing both. I just want to grab one. I've got that one going that way. And I've got the other skull going this way. Gosh dang it. Let go of that. There we go. Um, so you don't have to separate them. You can leave them on top of each other. Um, like I can just set it on top of each other and then I go to make it and it will layer it how you, um, see it puts it on there to fit, but it's putting it on two different mats and I actually have more than just a 12 by 12, I have a 12 by 24. So now, um, it put both images on one mat and I actually didn't like how it did it. Look at this, all this space here. So, um, I manipulated it a bit. I think I'd do it this way. Come on, don't be that way. There we go. And I just kind of put them somewhat close. I don't want them too close. I don't want it to see this is touching real close over there. I just, I don't like that. So I'm moving him over. It's really close to the top. I'll bring it down a little. Um, but yeah, now you can see we've got it laid out where we want it. So that's good. And now I'll be able to um, just cut my vinyl to this length, like 19. We'll go to 18 inches just so we have plenty of space. And then I can um, actually cut out this portion to still use um, just leftovers, scraps, whatever. Uh, then you continue. It's connecting to my machine choose what um, we are using we're actually using uh, it's premium permanent vinyl and it's holographic uh, it's set to default and then you're going to um, put your vinyl which I already did this I'm doing it backwards I realized I didn't show anybody how I did the image or um, put it on your paper which actually you know it sounds super easy to just lay it on there but this is all rolled up so to get it to lay flat is kind of a pain in the butt. So I use, this is the plastic cover. See, it's gonna to stick to the stick part. And I lay it down all the way up here and then I start to kind of lay my vinyl until I've got it straight and then I peel off my clear piece and roll it all the way down. Um, then you're gonna put this in your Cricut machine and it's gonna have you load it. Once it's loaded, which this will be open, and then you'll press go. So that's the go button. And then it'll cut it. So you'll see that part next.
like one of the most tedious but satisfying parts is weeding it. And this is usually where your craft knife comes into comes in handy. See, I kind of cut off. I don't want to waste that whole big chunk. But um otherwise I'm peeling all of this at once and it's really hard. So I don't know if I can record me doing it, but it's like I need another hand. Just go between the two designs. And I can peel separately. Possibly didn't cut it hard enough. Gosh dang it. I just wanted to show everybody how much work goes into like cutting out these stencils and everything the weeding and the precision the time because everyone's like oh you have a cricket and you can just like print it and then it's there it cuts it and then you have to weed it from the backing which you get some stubborn pieces um i think i don't know if you see that starting to come up so you want to come from the back end and you do not want to scratch any of your usable vinyl with this holographic it is so um delicate see it still wants to stick yeah, there sorry my brother wanted to look at his uh design for his motor this goes going on his motorcycle so um on these big this is a big design so this is way easier to weed see those big pieces but when you have cups and little stickers that you're making you have to pick off all these tiny little pieces you have to weed between your letters um it's like a tiny little b or an o do i have a cup over here that i did uh, um i have one but it's a gift so i don't want to show it um but yeah if you do any tiny little letters or tiny little pieces you have to peel out these tiny little very specks um yeah so i just wanted you guys to see the process because i know some of you want a cricket and i definitely think it's worth it it's amazing i love it but um it's not what i thought it was when i was getting one i don't know why i thought you just put like a piece of paper in there it cuts it and then you're good you have you have uh some work to do afterwards like this peeling of the vinyl and you have to change your blades when they start to get dull um you definitely ruin some pieces of expensive vinyl in the beginning that is for sure but then you kind of learn what you're doing sometimes you can grab these just in the middle because i keep trying to grab the edge and i'm just i'm gonna make a bunch of indents on the actual image so and sometimes it rips like it's it's not ripping a usable part. It's ripping the negative space, so that's fine with me. Yeah. There's that big old piece. I'm going to finish this now because I need two hands, one to hold it and one to um, peel. So I'll show you when we get it all weeded. We still have a whole other one. one. This is one of those parts that, um, I don't know what's going on with it. It won't stick back down like it came up during the weeding. So um, that's why I wanted to show everybody because there's some things you have to just uh, wing because... Um, like that's not going to stick down to this paper. It's not going to stick down to this motorcycle. So then it's just going to risk peeling everything up. So that's when I use my craft knife and I just cut my own. I'm trying to 
kind of slim down the design so I can just cut that piece off. Oh, you see how tedious this is. Um, I'm not a perfectionist, so I will go at it 50 times, um, even though it's something that you won't see from far away. But still. Oh, see, now I'm going to have to really manipulate it. But um, I've had to do it a million times on a bunch of different things, and nobody notices. So just so you know, that's one of those things you... <laughs> You don't want to waste. Um, there's probably $13 worth of vinyl right here. Um, which I made my brother pay for because it's for his bike. So, focus. But yeah, this is, uh, I want to show you the good and the bad of the Cricut. Sometimes it's a little even and it just messes up your perfect design. But it looks funny on camera, but it actually looks pretty good in real life right now. So, I'm going to leave it before I really start messing it up. All right, so I've got the design weeded, all the um, excess or the negative space is gone. Um, it's probably been like 20 minutes it took. It wasn't awful actually because it's such a big design, so all the pieces were pretty big. I'm gonna cut this piece off after I peel it off of my sticky uh, Cricut mat. Um, so I have that to use for scraps or this, I mean, I could do like two cup names with this. That's, you know, pretty good amount of final to just waste uh yeah so hopefully I um after I'm done with this and I put it on his bike um he's putting it on the saddlebags of his uh Honda Goldwing it's an 83 they just repainted it so uh boys are all excited about their toys but I will um take a picture of it when it's all done okay so this part is kind of hard to um so there's my image um Usually you peel it off of your Cricut mat first and then you do this, but since it's so big and it's just going to roll up when I try to put the transfer tape on, I'm going to leave it on the sticky mat, which I haven't done before, but um, I feel like it's just going to work better from experience. Um, I'm going to lay down this parchment paper because this is so sticky. Um, this stuff is so sticky, um, it's just going to, I'm going to try to put it down up here at this edge and I might get a part that sticks here and it might peel up my design. So if anybody could have taught me anything, that would have been great to know at the beginning to cover this. But just over time, um, you've seen people do different things and you're like, oh my gosh, that is a lifesaver. So, especially with such a big design it's got so many little pieces that I don't want to lose or pick up on accident so I'm just gonna peel this I'm trying to I, I debated on actually even showing this part on camera but it's just I want everybody to see how much this process is for all of this so um, the only time you don't have to use transfer tape is if you're cutting out like paper so paper obviously you don't want to put tape on paper it's just gonna ruin it um, or um, iron on like HTV so heat transfer vinyl because um, you don't need it it comes with its own backing for the iron on stuff so this because we want to put it on another surface we're going to stick this down we'll try to line it up first before we run it all the way down now you hear the boys are down here causing a commotion Up your I'm recording it and you guys are like all oh, shit and all this in the background, but it's cool. It's cool. I'm sure they've all heard cuss words before. Cool day. And I'm just going to move this down a little bit more. And I'm just going to fill this down. I'm just going to keep going little by little. And if you get bubbles and this isn't such a big deal, but it, when you start getting wrinkles in it, then it, it can uh, mess up this foil. Um, where's one of my spare pieces of foil? So if you see this, if you bend it or crease it, even once you lay it back flat, it is never the same. So you do not want to bend it. 
All right, I'm gonna finish doing this part and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've got this all laid flat and um, you just kinda wanna um, burnish it, I guess. Um, make sure that all these little pieces are gonna stick to your transfer tape. And I'm just being really gentle because um, like I showed you with the creasing, I don't wanna scrape it. I mean, even scraping just this outside plastic, I've seen leave indents in this holographic uh, vinyl. Um, the regular vinyls, um, just regular colored vinyls, and I've got one here I just got. They are very forgiving. I mean, I've actually scratched it and stuff, and you can't tell, but these fancy ones and the shiny ones, you just have to be really gentle. So I just kind of make sure there's no bubbles and nothing creases, real light on it. Especially these tiny little ones. Get it all stuck down. And then this is the part. Um, this part can kind of suck too. So let's see if I can show you. Okay, so now one of the other rules that um, I didn't learn the first time is you don't peel um, this from the, bat, the, the mat you peel the mat from the vinyl. So I want to bend my mat, which is, it's pretty flexible. I mean, it's sturdy, but it's flexible. So I'm bending and rolling my mat off of my image because I don't want to bend or crease this. I want to bend and crease my mat because that um, that is totally fine. So, Again, one of those little things you learn after, I don't know, watching some YouTube videos or somebody saying, oh, this is why that didn't work for you. So look at that. It came out great. So I'm just going to cut off this spare piece and I'm going to stick it back on um, the backing that it came with for the transfer tape because um, this you can use a couple times. It, I mean, it really, if, if you did not know that, you don't have to keep throwing this stuff away. Use it a couple times until it's not sticky anymore because um, <clears throat> you will go through this stuff so quick. 